Hello, I hope you're having a great day. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Last week, my husband challenged us to be obedient and stand out and have others stand up and recognize you by the God you serve. I pray you were able to do that. I want to take a few moments to challenge you to look at your relationships and friendships that you may have. Are you surrounding yourself with those who love the Lord and will lift you up? Or are you surrounding yourself with those who fill themselves with the world and pull you down? God clearly states in Psalm chapter 1 verses 1 through 6 that we need to be different in our relationships. Verses 1 through 3 say that those who love the Lord will have joy because they do not listen to the wicked and that they are not to involve themselves with sinners and mockers. Do you have friends who may fit that description? Are you taking delight in the Lord and meditating on His Word day in and day out? When we put aside unhealthy relationships and we focus our thoughts on Christ, we become like a rooted tree. Nothing can bend us or break us. We will not fade and wither because we are rooted in Christ Jesus. Verses 4 through 6 go on to tell us what will happen to those who do not have a relationship with God. They will be condemned at judgment time and destined for destruction because there is no place among God's people for them. Are there people in your life that are living a life that are not following God? Are you allowing them to pull you down? Or are you professing to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength? It is easier to pull someone down than it is to lift them up. Take some time this week to evaluate your relationships. Do you have those friends who you begin to look like or act like when you are around them? Do you begin to gossip, say hurtful things, and mock others? Or do you stand for God at all costs? Be an unbreakable, unwavering, deep-rooted tree. Do not allow those around you to pull you down. Stand for God and meditate on His Word. If there is any gray in your life, cast it out so that your path may be righteous and that you are not led to destruction. Before I say goodbye, I want to leave you with an extra scripture verse, which is found in Romans 12, 2. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for your life, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Put aside any ungodly relationships that cause you to look like the world. Instead, put on the transformation of God and walk in His will for your life. God bless and see you next week.